so in the last video we created the the form uh, we created the form to to add a new product so uh, we we add the, the, the product here and we uh, handle the form here in the controller and the products controller with the uh, post mapping to this uh, and we map it to the this URL which is which is this URL action from the action method is post and uh, and uh, we, s we 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 retrieve the the field of the form we submitted then we save the our our product to the database here so save our product to the database uh, then we redirect to the list of the product to the to this page so let's do an example let's fast something just fast for example so we, we, we add this one this is the one we add no this is the one we add so now we will be building HTML here to display the these uh, the, all of this all of these uh, uh, products in our HTML with other option to delete or change something so in order to implement uh, that and we will I will be using just uh, bootstrap table uh, it's simple and and uh, we choose uh, let's choose this one so this is our bootstrap table just copy and pass copy and pass uh, this is our bootstrap table the, uh, our first column will be uh, will be the id then name description the land price and uh, we first need to retrieve the from the database this the the list of the form so over here no not here uh, here so uh, we will be having a list of products 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 and it will be product uh, and we will assign it to the product find all so this return list Java YouTube. So we need the and we add this to the model. So we can add 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 attribute add attribute this one and uh, the can it be the product product we can return here the the model and view instead of just uh, ju just the the model so it's uh, basically the same thing we will be working we will see how to do that uh, so this is our products and uh, we go back to the HTML and uh, we do a loop here th th each so pro 
product from product this is the theme leaf side uh, product product will have the the product here we will have the uh, we'll do the inlining side product ID and uh, the second product name I guess just to copy and paste so we can products name name then description this description then the price price and if we relaunch our application and see what we will get there So we we got our but we didn't ah uh, wait what we have here is what the what the problem here products it's a product ah we have the problem here which is this one uh, it's like you need to be very careful with theme leaf syntax relaunch again Here we are. This is the list of our, of our products. And uh, what we need to do next time is to add the bar in here to change this or change this or delete. And uh, we can add, add uh, here. We can add here. And the lead button lead products and uh, we add it here it will be uh, it's it will be a bottom uh, a tag a tag so we can pass the the ID of the product H href href which will be uh, theme leaf tag so this is how we has a, uh, a variable in the URL so we can delete the right product and uh, what we have here is a theme leaf syntax which is delete product product with the ID the ID that's this ID equal equal to what product product ID and we close the uh, and we need 
need to pass here a class so we have class uh, which is button person and danger so have a bar uh, danger and uh, here delete let's see could not pass ex expression we have a uh, error syntax here uh, what the problem here what the problem here Let's keep it simple. Anyway, next uh, video we will see how to uh, to add a few a few button here. A few uh, we have uh, we add the few button to to either delete the product or change the price or change the name or change uh, the description. So stay tuned. See you next time.